Assalamualaikum dan and good evening to Madam Bibi. Alright, uh, today my group from the commentary want to present our product entitled Multi Function Turbine 2020. Alright, uh, in my group there are four members that involved, uh, which are myself, Muhammad Abdul Ashraf Kamal Zaman, Muhammad Akmal Kairi bin Rizwan, Muhammad Fami bin Muhammad Fazil, and Muhammad Rizwan Hakimi bin Amran. Alright, why we choose this product? Alright, the first one we choose this product because this product is easy to use for cleaning the leg. Alright, the, um, the main point we prefer to use for here because uh, in leg there are several amount of uh, velocity that uh, that can be generate uh, energy so that we prefer to use conveyor uh, the, ne uh, the next one uh, we choose this product because this product can help the resident to protect the environment on the lake from any rubbish uh, the next point uh, this product can less use human resource um, to cleaning the water and the last one water is renewable energy is, uh, we know that water uh, is free to use as long as the water uh, have in the lake. <laughs> Alright, right. um, the next point is about problem statement. Okay, the main uh, problem that occur um, at uh, Section 7 Lake is uh, we got complaint from the resident. Alright, uh, from the complaint, we found that we need to do something that can um, help the resident to make sure that the uh, park is uh, clean from any waste or rubbish. So, um, we uh, want to make our own conveyor, but the problem is uh, the design from previous uh, product uh, is not suitable to be used so that uh, we decide to make our own design to make sure that our product can fulfill the um, to fulfill the what the resident wants okay that's uh, as I said before, uh, to solve the problem, we, de we design our own conveyor based on the standard uh, specification from the factory or from the supplier. Uh, the product that we want to make is uh, user friendly, uh, which means that the resident can use uh, the product anytime. Alright, the price that our product uh, to the price of our product is cheap and we make we want to make sure that the price is not too expensive to buy for everyone all right this, uh, this is the standard industry conveyor as we can see that as we, as we can see that they are shaft roller motor roller support that that and others that we use uh, to our product but we make some improvement uh, which is we use the uh, created bell conveyor uh, as we know that created bell conveyor can um, bring the rubbish more rather than a um, conventional conveyor which is conveyor belt alright uh, this uh, objective that I will pass to my member uh, Muhammad Fahmi bin Fazi. Assalamualaikum and good evening to Madam Bibi. Now I am Muhammad Fahmi bin Fazi. We present the objective of our project. The main pro objective of our project is to make sure that conveyor that our department make can clean the lake from na uh, from waste and rubbish. The another objective of this project uh, to make sure that our whole student or uh,
members can increase their ability to produce a new invention that can help uh, uh, people life. Uh, then we also can build up the uh, to build up the critical thinking amongst all the students. Uh, then to uh, this project can disclose the student this teamwork project uh, as uh, preparation for the student uh, for work life work lifestyle in the future. Yeah, then uh, yeah. to satisfy all the product design requirements and the final objective of our uh, project is to incorporate and apply all existing knowledge that we get uh, that we gain during the course of the program designing and manufacture the product. Uh, now we go to the conceptual design. There are three design that our department members made and uh, the first design that have been made is the design concept one and as we can see the material that we use for this uh, conveyor is stainless steel why we use stainless steel for this design because as we know stainless steel is uh, uh, the strength is uh, uh, tough enough to uh, absorb uh, force and load then we use the bottle conveyor with 3 until 10 watt and 20, uh, 220 volt this motor conveyor uh, can easily be be combined uh, that is the reason why we choose this type of motor conveyor uh, the bell, uh, the power transmission that we use uh, for this conveyor is uh, a no, no, the, this, this uh, type of belt conveyor that we use is glitter belt. As our head of department said, the glitter belt can easily uh, collect and carry the rubbish to the rubbish net. Uh, then the type of joint that we use for this uh, uh, conveyor for this design concept one uh, is fastener and welding because this type of joint is very strong uh, and the bearing that we use is ball bearing and the power transmission that we use from the motor to the roller is a uh, belt uh, this so next we go to the design concept two design concept two still use stainless steel uh, but different type of motor conveyor uh, 6 until 120 watt 12 or 24 volt the type of uh, conveyor belt that we use is wire mesh belt uh, that made, uh, made by uh, a stainless steel also the type of joint that we use fastener and welding the bearing is roller bearing and the type of power transmission is chain. This concept is chain because uh, chain can easily be replaced and easily be used. Uh, the final design concept is uh, using material uh, of aluminium. Why we choose aluminium? Because it's a light in weight the type of motor conveyor that we use is still same is the design concept one three until ten watt because uh, easily to combine to the conveyor uh, compartment the type of uh, conveyor belt that we use is flat flat top steel belt uh, the type of joint steel fastener and welding this uh, bearing that we use is roller bearing and lastly the, the, the type of the power transmission is belt now we continue to the chosen concept after a several discussion by our mem department members we have decided to choose the uh, design product 
Number one, the why we choose this design concept because all uh, this design has fulfilled uh, has fulfilled all the specification uh, that have we list before. Uh, this all the spec that our conveyor have first the pro or advantage for our conveyor uh, is not the material is not easy to corrode because we use stainless steel. Uh, next, uh, low friction and minimum lubrication. Uh, the uh, because the type of bearing that we use is ball bearing. We uh, this design also improve the efficiency and easy to handle because of the type of conveyor belt that we use. That is a treated belt. Our product also have a cons or disadvantage. The disadvantage, the first is disadvantage for our uh, of this uh, design concept. Number one is high initial cost. Uh, as we know, the stainless steel is a uh, one of the metal that have a high initial cost. Uh, then, uh, this conveyor also sensitive to shock or loading uh, because of ball bearing, the type of bearing that we use. And finally, the cons that have for this design concept one is belt can be difficult to clean. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, next, I will present about the technical drawing for our conveyor system. Uh, okay, first, okay, this is the part that we uh, I uh, designed for the roller. And this last one, this is the bearing. Okay, for the first one, is the roller that, uh, this first one. Uh, the roller we will use at the conveyor, the main conveyor, which is, uh, we will have six. Uh, five piece of this one uh, will attach uh, by the shaft and before that we will install the bearing inside this and then next is the attached roller this one this both this both will be attached together uh, because uh, I already made the combined joint um, using the because we will fabricate this uh, this tree this tree roller using the 3d printing uh, so the material we will use is polylactic acid plastic so it's strong enough so they will attach together and both inside of them will have bearing with the bore diameter of uh, 30 mm diameter and next is the this is the motor roller so this motor will attach to the uh, this roller will attach at the motor so when the motor uh, rotate uh, it will rotate and transmit the power rotation power from the motor to the conveyor system next is uh, the shaft the shaft we will use the stainless steel cause to prevent the corrosion uh, because our product will be placed on the leg so that means our product will be involved uh, will be exposed to the uh, leg water in the leg so if you use uh, normal steel or iron it will corrosive and will not last long so we we'll choose to use the uh, stainless steel same goes to the support so this three support, uh, this support will have two piece of, uh, we will have two piece, two piece of the support with three hole in it, with diameter of uh, thirty mm. The support will make will hold the shaft. So they will be stand, uh, they will stand the conveyor. And lastly, uh, the Cletus bag, Cletus bag made by made by the stainless steel. So this bag will rotate and collect the rubbish from the uh, from the lake. Okay, 
this is the rubber band or leather band round round belt this is used to transmit the rotation uh, rotational power into the mechanical power into the uh, to move the conveyor this is just a rough rough idea for the motor shape because we don't get the specific design for this uh, motor that we want to buy so i just uh, draw something so we know where where will be the the motor place and how big it is so this is the assembly drawing for the conveyor system it will attach in front of our main product and this is the exploded view as you can see we will have seven seven pair of seven 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 in quantity of seven of bearing five of for the roller and the one of each attached roller one round band uh, round belt to support six divider this is uh, actually already attached to get uh, with the belt so this is just for drawing so for uh, for us to know the dimension so it's, it is attached together it's, it's actually so uh, and then three shafts and the motor motor roller okay partial decomposition so when the water flow in the lake the turbine we rotate and produce uh, electricity so when the electric currents uh, been stored in the electrical storage so we will use the electric <coughs> from there to start up our motor so that the motor will start and rotate uh, the motor roller and the motor roller will transmit the power and rotate the conveyor system and then the conveyor will move and we collect uh, rubbish that that flow in front of the for our product. Okay, next is the design analysis. So, uh, I made a stress design analysis uh, for each part. Okay, for the first one is the belt. So, when uh, we use the stainless steel. So when the load uh, accumulate at the middle of the section of the belt, more than around 50 to 70 newtons or 5 to 7 kilogram because our product is a, not a big one, so a small one. So for the end normally the rubbish on the that float on the water doesn't reach for uh, the mass or weight until more than one or two kilogram so i estimate it for the five kilogram which accumulate maybe because of the water accumulate so it will occur the belt will be bending at, at the middle will be uh, stressed at the middle and the uh, bending occur so to prevent this from happen we will uh, decide to have a hole on the belt so the water that that being collected together with the rubbish will flow down back into the river so it doesn't accumulate on the belt and next is the this is for the divider divider that attach on the belt so it will hold the rubbish from going back into the lake so just like this and the rubbish will stay here and doesn't flow back doesn't go down going back into the lake so it will bring up so the analysis I decide to make it to withstand around 3 to 5 kilogram so the same for the same reason Next, this is for the shaft, and the bending part is at the uh, where we put the roller. So to prevent it, we will use the bearing. So bearing will be uh, reduced or will 
will spread the force will spread the load of force uh, evenly plus uh, the load doesn't accumulate here or here the load will be in the middle of section so uh, this will happen if the weight of the rubbish is more than 5 kg or from the tape, uh, from the data is about around 14 newton meter so it's it's much more so if uh, we can prevent this from happen this is because i put the load is uh, for the much load too much uh, too much load and lastly for the support support will occur stress and bending in the middle especially in the middle because there is nothing supporting it so uh, to prevent it from happening uh, we will uh, adding maybe maybe add the thickness for the support so it doesn't it can withstand more weight so it doesn't bend like this this will happen with uh, if the 55 kilogram will accumulate directly acting directly at the hollow part So this is the view of the exploded view and bed of material we used it. I already tell you uh, the quantity. So the roller, roller and the attached roller we will make it automate uh, or manufacture manufact it with the three D printing process uh, by using the polylactic acid plastic. And for the support shaft and the clamps clented belt we will use the material of the standard steel to prevent the corrosion and then uh, for the transmitting power we will use round belt um, that made from rubber or leather and the motor the motor is already uh, we will buy the, uh, the already one and the ball bearing also we will buy And that's all for me. Thank you. Okay, next is development plan. Development plan is uh, the step where our team will be used to make a product. The first step is background study. In background study, we will tackle the problem occur on the current situation. For example, in this situation, uh, we observed that uh, there were so many rubbish in the lake. So, with this conveyor, we will help to pick up the rubbish from the lake. Next is to collect the current information of the design. Okay, next step is conceptual design. In this step, we will review the function ability of the product and establishing function structures. And next, the next step is mock-up model. In this step, we will design evaluation to get better view of the product. So, the next step is prototype fabrication. In this step, we will fabricate the product to make testing on the conceptual design and represent final design before final product existed. And the last step is functional testing. In this step, we will identify test input, calculate the expected outcome with the selected test input and execute test cases. So this table show is a gun chart. Gun chart is uh, so we can know our table and our time to take to make a product so the red one is planning and the blue one is progress so we have 14 weeks to make a product then after follow the instruction we finally make a final report for the product so we hope ah, okay next so the, uh, this is the estim estimate cost cost and the cost after we use clip bag is at ringgit, load the motor, ball bearing and others. And after max calculation, the total is about 262 and 58 cent. So this is uh, a total costing and overhead. Our financial statement is for that must include the cost of the following, which is direct material, direct level and manufacture overhead. For electricity, 
Uh, I calculate that uh, we will use about 0 0.218 kilowatt, kilowatt per hour and the total is about 11 ringgit and for salary level we will use about 24 ringgit so the total is 34 and 90 cent Next is uh, our team members This is Amir Asha uh, the, He role as a head of department This is Ibrahim Hakimi uh, he play as a designer and this Akmal and Fami will take over in technical report Alright, that's all for my presentation with my members um, What can I conclude is our members uh, decide to use this product because uh, we have research, we have study and we found that this product is suitable to be used in order to make the leg on the park can continuous clean in the future. Thank you for Madam BP for your uh, time. Uh, hopefully we can see you next time. Thank you so much.